check. <clears throat> okay, um, let us start. So this is the Pathfinders project. The basic idea is to have a team structure that is um, made up of two different team structures. That made lots of sense. Um, ideally expanding into lots of different areas, hence the name Pathfinders. Um, and to take the awesomeness of Minecraft and plug it into, at first, Minecraft things, but hopefully one day bigger things than that. Um, yeah, so let's start. A project team. Yes, that is the first type of team we're going to cover. Uh, project team is made up of a team leader, and it's made up of a couple teachers. The team leader, their main goal is to have your best interests at heart. Um, which sounds a little sappy, you know, but I mean, that's the ideal, right? It's not going to be perfect, uh, but the ideal is they're going to have your best interest at heart. Um, in both the fun sense and the, um, more, in the more how it sounds sense, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. I'm decently happy with this so far. Um, hopefully my mic's loud enough. Okay. Um, yeah, what else about project teams? Um, the teacher's job will be to teach you a variety of, well, pot a potential variety of skills based on your goals and where you want to get in your commitment levels. When you are part of a home team, um, you will have, you will talk to the team leader about where you want to go, your, those skills you want to develop, and, um, I, and then the team leader and yourself will help you come up with actionable steps of how to get there. Not necessarily super detailed, but I think some people will want super detailed. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty flexible system. Um, what is different about this team structure um, is that it's going to be not just skilled people off the get-go. It's going to be a variety of different good-hearted people. And that emphasis on the good-hearted part, that's what I want this to be different. Like, that's how I want this to be different. I want this to be people actually learning stuff, coming as a, a not necessarily particularly skilled person, but with like... Yeah, I already said the, the good heart part, so I don't really need to go over that again. Um, but yeah, like actually teach and learn in this community. Um, side note, everyone is going to be part of a home team no matter what like level you are. Um, yeah, so like if you're the highest skilled person, uh, even though we probably won't have like a, a single individual be ranked the highest, uh, the rank system I'm going to touch on, it's not going to be as cut and dry and kind of brutal and... Um, what's the word elitist mindset as it sounds currently um, but yeah let's talk about that the level system as you can see this says level one green is gonna be level one <laughs> also bear with me I currently I took a sleeping pill and I'm like a little bit tired all right so bear with me okay it's gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna be good stuff yeah uh, level two is yellow you'll never guess what orange is it's level three what level four is well it's red colors with banjo uh, and level four is level five is purple um, the idea of the level system is going to be broad selections every level should be drastically more skilled than the level before it so if level one's like entry point and the higher up of level one is like I can build custom trees I can build um, some decent structures and I am learning the basics of building and I can apply it on like low level projects um, that's like level one, right? Like they, they're learning structure, um, and they're learning like how, maybe even how to work on a team at, at a basic level. Um, but then level two is like, okay, I've been trained on how to work on, how to work on projects and I'm decent at working on a team, but I can build like a variety, like trees effortlessly. I can build like multiple different structures. I'm like, I'm a full on builder at this point. Like full on builder, I can do like a couple different styles and I have a strong grasp of how to grow and the areas that I'm working on like and that's like mid mid range like that they should be able to be fluent or pretty much fluent in like a couple different things like that's a pretty significant skill increase every level should be able to basically teach unless their teaching skill is lacking but essentially skill wise teach the level before them um, like quite effectively like a level two should be like all right I've been through the training you've been through not that the training is all gonna be the same That's like general practice type training and experiences not just like everyone's doing the exact same thing military style It's not quite how it's gonna go um, Which I like as a side note. I think that's pretty awesome um, It's exciting 
Um, yeah. Okay. So like level two should be able to like take on a level one guy and be like, all right, here I, I see improvements here, here, and here, or areas you can improve here, here, and here. Um, yeah, and level three the same thing. For reference, I forgot I forgot exactly how this is, so I'm just gonna kind of pull this out of my head. Level four is like marketplace level, and of course right now we're talking about building skill. Um, but yeah, level four is like marketplace level. Level three would be able to like kind of do marketplace stuff to a degree, but they they would have gaps to fill in. They could they're not super versatile. Like it's kind of like if I if you fit. If your very specific skill fits this category, you could do market level, marketplace level stuff, but it's not like you can just full on do a marketplace map all by yourself. Level 4 and level 5s are like marketplace uh, level stuff. Um, so there's going to be different levels of home teams. Um, okay, actually I might forget to talk about this, but I'm going to skip over to a different topic. Um, Actually, just a moment. I need to think. And I'm going to include include this in the video because I don't want to edit this. So bear with me a couple seconds here. All right. Now I'm just going to keep winging it. Never mind. Um, what else? What else? Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope that this can branch off into real life skills. So for example, Minecraft commands, that is something I am excited to start teaching. Uh, it's going to be a little chaotic when I start teaching it. And I apologize for that. Uh, for those of you who are going to join me in this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little stressful for, my, for me to like create that structure. Uh, big learning curve, I'm sure, but I think it's ultimately I have some good things I can teach, and one way or another that's going to come out. Um, yeah, but Minecraft commands and actual real life programming are not that much different. It is not a stretch to be able to get good at Minecraft commands and then to start learning programming. That is a real life skill. That is a skill that people, for one, and it's not all about the money, but you know, it's helpful and it's a fact that you should consider. Um, people will pay for that. And how cool would it be if we could take this same structure that we have so far, um, even just the home team aspect, not even the project teams, which is the other team type. How cool would it be to be able to take like Minecraft um, command block guys who have grown up in their skill and been assisted by a whole team of semi like minded people and be able to start doing things. Now this is high end stuff. It wouldn't all be like rainbows and happiness, right? There'd be a lot of difficulty and it takes time, effort, all that stuff. But end game wise, how cool would it be to be, to be able to do game development stuff? To be able to maybe one day develop like specific softwares for our, our needs as the, for, you know, in the community, like maybe make a website for pathfinders, like without using that other, that other stuff, even if that's more efficient, like let's just make it ourselves, right? Like that'd be cool. Um, and again, that's like end game stuff and not end game. It's more like 60, mm, I, I, I can say 70%, maybe 60. Yeah. I'll, I'll just say 70% of like the way there. Um, but that'd be sick. And if I go a little further, there's other skills we could branch into as well. Hence the name Pathfinders, um, which I think is a really cool and semi, dare, dare I say semi inspiring. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know. Um, maybe not let me know on that super specific detail i mean heck heck you can if you want right um i really hope i'm recording right now okay good i am that scared me i was like oh could you imagine oh that'd be so sad that'd be so sad huh oh. um okay cool what else um okay i'm gonna talk about project teams so project teams are essentially a, a project so a goal a actionable project that has a start and finish. Um, it can be very large, it can be a very long term project like my kit PvP RPG MMO which I also need to get into which I totally forgot about. I won't get into it much. That's like a very side detail that I currently don't actually feel like I need to explain so maybe I won't. Um, but yeah, it could be a long project, short project but the idea is branches into reality so it could be something we're trying to sell it could be something we're uh, a cool just a cool map we're trying to do it could just be to get people experienced um especially working on a team oh i want us to have i won't get into that right now actually um experience and not everyone is invited to the projects um that's the thing there's a reputation like if you are a level one builder you might not be invited to a level two structure or a level two um, project all right uh, intermission real quick here I wanted to explain the project teams 
um, reputation system, which is not going to be like a f one to five star review type reputation. It's going to be only text reputation. So only like comments or um, paragraphs about how someone did in a potential variety of details. So if you did good on a project, um, the project leader or um, maybe other people, but I think we're going to keep it to just project leader for now. It could write a review like, hey, this person did great. They made great custom trees. They were there very consistently. Huge part of the, you know, insert project name here. Um, yeah, and I think that way, it's not just going to be in numbers. It's going to be like you're going to have a sense of p a potential character. Not It's not always going to give you a sense of character, um, but potential character. And like you can tell if they made it like you can tell that they – that the project team leader wanted to put effort into making them sound like they did a good job. And that that says so much more than like a one to five star thing. Like, um, and so that's how I want the reputation system to be. So you, like, obviously you can get like mad reputation. You, you know, you've worked on 17 big projects and your reviews for all of them are good and you have met all the Pathfinders community and all this stuff, not literally all the Pathfinders community. That's kind of a strange example. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. So end of intermission. Let me just end this. Real. Yeah, cool. Not now. I am not set on having level set projects. It very well, and I am leaning towards having a project team um, labeled as like, like you can invite any level of any builders and skills, but they don't all have to accept it, right? Um, I'm leaning towards that, but for now, in this situation, I'm going to talk about a level project. So if you're a level 2 project, you can recruit level 2s and level 1s. Um, I'm going to talk talk like it's that, but that might not be the case. Um, so yeah, not everyone's invited to be on projects. Um, and so if you are standing out among your peers, um, which by the way is going to have a wide range of, a, a wide range of age, um, probably. Um, yeah, um, come on, don't wrap it chill too far, oh, those, oh, I'm getting sleepy, getting sleepy, yep, um, come on, project teams, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna follow the train of thought till I get there, I was talking about project teams, real world experience, not everyone getting there, standing out among your peers, okay, there we are, um, it gives you kind of a more reason to be practicing and, I don't want it being super competitive. Like, there's gonna be people that are like, "Hey, um, hey, I'm gonna get some people on here just so they can get experience." Because I don't want this being like a super, like, I want it being cooperative on multiple levels, not just your home team, like the general Pathfinders community, right? Like, let's better, let's if we can, let's give other people opportunity, right? Um, I'm rabbit trailing a lot. That's all right. That's all right. Um. Yeah, so that might be a marketplace map, that ever, an ever expanding project. Um, ideally, it was something I'm excited about is getting worlds that we can host events on. So, for example, my kit PV, PvP RPG MMO that is set up in a way that we can make other separate floating islands. So we can have multiple teams working on other separate islands, and then only get people able to teleport to those floating islands when it's done so we can have like multiple teams large amounts of people working on separate projects which is like really good for t as our team gets bigger um and then what we can do is we can host um like events and then recruit people and build the community which is not the team um or which is not um just the team it's like people playing our stuff, the people that play our stuff that are decent human beings, ideally, um, and like people that come from group posts and not that I'm wanting to single y'all out, y'all are chill for, for the most part, you know, not always, but it's been pretty good. Um, yeah, the events. I want us to be able to, as a team, be able to support Minecraft events and different abilities to do different things that and that sounds vague and it kind of is but that is that's what i want to target um i have other goals 
that I actually let me think about this for a second I know it said I was going to wing it but I'm going to give it another shot thinking about it oh let's not get copyrighted let's turn that down alright <laughs> I had slight music in the background that might be problematic I'm just going to keep winging it like I said before also look at that tree I, yeah I'm fairly happy with that tree um okay here's a random side note uh if there is someone coming from the outside of the pathfinders community oh and i remember this structure too if there's someone coming from the outside of the pathfinders community like a teacher or a builder um they would not be part of the official community but they would be like essentially like a subcontractor like they're not in our immediate culture um but they would have a place among like they'd have a function and we would treat them well, obviously. That's that's the hope, anyways, y'all. I hope that happens. Um, for for future members, like, let's treat the people well. Let's let's do that. Um, even if even if they're not necessarily part of our group, even if you're having a bad day, like, that that detail is a little too specific. Whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys get the idea. Um. Yeah, kind of like subcontractors, like, hey, like, do you want to partner with us do you, and help us learn some things and then, you know, maybe leave after a while or, um, or maybe one day they come through the ranks. Also, side note as well, now I'm covering side notes because I didn't cover everything already. If you're enjoying this, um, I was gonna, I was gonna do automatic, I went into an automatic like thing. Nope, I'm not, not focused on likes. Get, get back on track, Banjo, what are you doing? Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. No! <laughs> it's so sad okay uh, what what was it talking about subcontractors oh, it was a relevant thing too um, okay whatever so the recruitment there's two thoughts about recruitment I'm I'll tell you the first one the first one is at the beginning of every week that's um, the beginning of every month the first week that's recruitment time so if you have a buddy who you want to join he would come through he'd probably be interviewed first um, and if we have space and we have enough leadership we can we can take on some new people right um, and then that's when you you learn things uh, and you get you kind of get some some videos maybe I guess the specifics here don't matter bottom line you're introduced and then the three weeks after that is when you you train and you have fun um, yeah, and I'm not sure how the fun's gonna work right away. By the way, because I, I don't have this all figured out. Um, if you have ideas for like some community stuff, I have a lot of ideas, so I, I don't know how that's gonna all work. Um, yeah, let me know if you have some ideas for, for, just fun ideas. Yeah, I'll leave it vague because it's kind of it in a vague sphere. I don't know. Okay. Um, training uh, you see how I put training or practice training and fun practice and training are like the same thing don't know why I did that that's that's for free um, yeah and we're gonna recruit people in waves although the leadership aspect is probably gonna bottleneck us quite a bit um, yeah the other thought process is that we do one the first month is recruitment and then um, two months after that we practice and train um, so I'm not sure which one we're gonna do okay what else what else um, to be promoted you will need to go under review if you're really skilled when you're starting and maybe unless you're a marketplace developer um, but I don't know that that sounds correct as I say it because that seems fair um, under like you've already been approved by a, an, a, a strong authority uh, I don't know ignore my reasoning that's not super thought through um, but if you're a pretty skilled builder or you're a pretty skilled command block guy you're gonna still go through level one you're gonna go through the basic stuff um, and you will have to put a review request basically and then we will review your your project and we'll give you specifications and then a couple people from like higher levels and who have been approved to be able to like leadership wise approve other builders which is at first just gonna be me and a couple other people that I trust um, to do that and I don't know if we'll vote it'll probably be something along the lines of that and I do reserve the right to just approve you myself um, and I do 
and I I want this to be like community based but I do reserve the right to just like make decisions although I do not plan on abusing that at all um, but yeah I will be making decisions um, I think I said enough there you guys get the idea like I want I want this to be a team thing and I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to lean on my own understanding and I think that's gonna go well it has in the past um, yeah okay cool so like I said everyone's gonna be part of a home team um, and I want home teams to be kind of like doing events with each other like playing not just mini games but like game modes like all right y'all we have a week to do such and such it's a cool experience that no one else has because we made it ourselves that's uh, that's the ideal stuff um it, there's gonna be different levels of teams so you might be promoted out of your home team to a different home team i don't think you're gonna have to move to the new home team because you might be chill with your buddies and obviously you could still stay in contact um with them and all that maybe you maybe we'll have like a group chat and um and like you don't get kicked from team one not that we're gonna have better names than team one big time um but um maybe there's a you know the general group chat or chat box or whatever we're gonna call it for um <laughs> for um oh what am i saying it's happening again guys it's happening uh for team one and then when you get promoted to builder tier two you are now invited to the next team um, <clears throat> you're invited to the next team and then you're just part of two group chats and maybe you can do both events or something or both you get access to both things um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work I think I like that because then you know you you only expand like you don't it, it's way less of a loss and it's much more of only gain and I really like that idea especially if you then have level three and level like level two and three people is still interacting with the level one groups like that's awesome I really like that concept so I'm actually quite set on that I just talked myself into it um, yeah there's a bunch of technical stuff that I could get into I don't feel the need to um, to show off like the tech um I think that's it though let's see if you're interested in this let me know in the comments message me um, on discord if I don't know if I'm gonna give out my discord um, I really recommend checking maybe check the comments I'll leave my discord there potentially which it might be a very bad and stupid plan it probably is long term um, <clears throat> yeah hope you enjoyed the video um i'm going to uh, am i for I'm, I'm sure i'm forgetting something you know you know how it is um i will not necessarily be letting everyone in um i do need to be fairly picky but i want to get like you don't need to necessarily be skilled to get in um if, and if you don't get in I apologize I have to run this a certain way for it to be successful pretty much period or I'm taking a massive loss and I don't mind taking some loss but a massive loss that's when it starts affecting lots of lots of things that it's, it shouldn't be affecting um, yeah I'm kind of commands I'm both nervous about but like like I said I'm looking forward to it um, if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel you have probably have met me because that's where most of my subscribers come from at the moment of making this video and that will probably stay the same for quite a while um, if you are one of my old friends you are invited to try this out again I can't let everyone in but like I know a lot of y'all who are subscribed and there's a pretty good chunk that I would pretty seriously consider um, letting into this so let me know if you're interested uh, either in the comments or on Xbox just message me like to be a member just to be a member on Xbox uh, if that is something you're interested in um, oh yeah oh good I'm glad I didn't just stop the video something else um, is this will not be starting right away I need to get a, a small group of people first not just like the the group of like four people I have right now which awesome y'all that's cool um, emphasis on like I want to take people that are not necessarily like think they're all that in bag of chips um, you know I think I talked about it enough already um, yeah 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 okay 
yes, I'm not going to start the teams right away. So there might be about a month leg time. And if you've seen my other videos, you know my my uh, I haven't been great with saying when things are going to happen and them actually happening. But that's my hope and my what seems realistic at the moment is getting it up and going. The first wave of people um, in about a month it might be less, might be more. Um, so if I invite you to the Discord, it's going to be a what is it going to be? It's going to be an inactive Discord that's chaotic. Oh, there's so much old stuff on that Discord. So many old structures and ideas and thought processes and stuff. If you look around, you'll find some interesting things. And feel free to ask me questions about the things that you find. Uh, it's good food for thought. It is. Um, but yeah, it is a kind of a placeholder of like, all right, everyone here is interested in Pathfinder stuff. Except for this one guy. Because it, it's been a long time since he's since we've talked, and he's probably no longer interested in Pathfinder stuff. Um, but pretty much everyone there is interested in it. So I f have a strong feeling that that is everything I wanted to talk about. I think that's the end. Um, okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me do this preset random outro. That is uh, this preset random. Those words don't go together. Um, now nah, you know what i'm gonna switch it up i'm just gonna call it good um you're even gonna see me close on the video good stuff and yes have a good day y'all ask me oh this is the last thing i believe ask me questions after i show you this video like boom ask me questions you can confirmations even if you're repeating things that were said in the video all good um share ideas or what you th might think you want to do like yeah any of that stuff so all right y'all and now i think that's it and if i forgot psh, whatever i covered some good stuff and consider i'm all sleepy um yeah cool all right uh, banjo out and have a good day